Hey guys, what's up? This is Shuri from eGazes for you. And in this video, I have a quick fix for you. What I've done is that I have changed my Wi-Fi router actually. Not changed it completely, but I there were some issues happening with my router. So I've changed the name and everything associated with it. Even the security features as well. So now what happened is that the printer that I had, which the unboxing and the setup video you will find in the cards over here as well. That, and it's a Wi-Fi printer, uh, it's a Wi-Fi printer as well. So what I have done is that now I have not set up my printer. So in this video, I will show you guys if you change the password of your router or if you, or if you change your router as a whole as a will, what are the steps you need to do to set up your printer once again? So without further ado, let's get into it so guys here i have my macbook pro with them uh, with me but you can follow the same steps in your windows laptop as well the first and foremost thing that you will need is you need to get the hp smart app already installed in your machine you can get it from the windows store or the app mac store as well this is very very important and the next thing is that you see this is my printer over here that i need to set up and now if you see uh, the wi-fi section over here it's blinking actually and yes there are no display over here as well uh, for now so to make sure that you have to connect this particular printer to a new adjusted wi-fi or your new router or your adjusted password router or whatever it is you need to press this cross signal and the wi-fi signal at the same time till the time this steady uh, like the steady uh, light in the power button starts blinking so let's do it yeah so as you can see the blinking has started so i have let go of the button and the next step that i will do i will show you in the laptop screen recording as well the foremost thing that i need to do over here is that once i open the hp smart app over here like i've shown you in the previous screen as well you can download it from the windows store or the macbook store as well and once i've installed it and set up uh, you will see that and yes if you have an existing printer you have already particularly you already have this particular app and uh, my best case is that you have already installed it and used it so now as you can see over here this is my particular printer that was uh, once installed in this and connected in this particular uh, app as well and it says printer is offline so i go ahead and click on add a new printer and now while you are at it you will see that nothing is actually happening on the hp printer side as well once the status changes and stuff happen over there i will let you know as well and now as you can see over here it has detected my series over here that says uh hp dexter 27 series 0 no, series 3 uh it's actually offline uh, from the usb port as well so i will just hit the setup over here at first time to connect setup and manage your hp printer this is my HP series, uh, HP Dexjet 2700 series. Make sure that your particular printer is detected perfectly over here as well. I hit continue, connect printer to Wi-Fi. The app can access your Wi-Fi password and connect the printer on your network automatically. If you want the app to do this, select continue. If prompted, allow the app to make changes to your device. I seriously want this app to do the things for me, so I hit continue. And this is a security chain. So once this particular process is done uh, you will see that the next stage that it says is connecting to the Wi-Fi you must stay on the screen while each step completes this might take a few minutes and of course uh, <clears throat> the printer is connecting uh, so it says press and release the flashing information button on your printer after releasing please wait so this is the flashing information button as you can see in my printer so I'm doing going in and pressing it and it's done and you can see the status has already changed in my screen in a macbook pro screen as well in the software part it's just configuring the printer sending network information one more thing that i want to add at this particular point which i should have added previously as well is that make sure that your laptop or your desktop whatever it is it's connected to the same wi-fi network that you want to connect your wi-fi printer network uh, your printer to that particular Wi-Fi as well. So yeah, this is my Wi-Fi network, uh, so it says it's connected. Now I have to hit continue. Just wait for it and yeah, it will come. And to give you an update on the printer side of things, you will see that the Wi-Fi uh, is not blinking anymore. You will see that the Wi-Fi is still on over there and it's not blinking. It's a steady light on the Wi-Fi signal as you can see. And even on this screen over here as is, uh, the Wi-Fi is connected you can see on this particular screen as well 
and yeah it says there error is out of paper that i can solve for sure but let me set up the printer first i'll do that later on and yes now it says install driver to print launch the printer and scanners using the button below you can now print to hp desktop 2700 series from this computer press ok and you see the status changes it says tray empty or open yes the tray is empty so i am going ahead and putting a paper for now in this particular printer that should change the status as well because it's not empty anymore and yeah it says ready that's good now we will go ahead and print something why not let's go ahead and do that as well just a second yeah Yeah, my son's exams are coming so i have prepared some of the mock uh, like paper over here what i'll go do is i go ahead and open one of the mock papers over here and yes i'm not connected to any uh, like via wires as such so i'll just go ahead and print the first paper uh, first page uh, so as to say the current page why not just let me see if it works or not i hit print over there over here and rightly so. And rightly so. You can see the print has happened over here. Yeah, a successful print over Wi Fi. So that means it's working. It's working. And you can see uh, over here as well. I have not connected any wires as such. There is no wire connection to the, inter to the printer that is happening. And yes, the successful print has happened. So that's also the purpose. It was pretty easy peasy. Hope this video was helpful. Hope so this video was helpful. If you have found this video particularly helpful, kindly share, like with your friends and families. It does help the channel and uh, a lot. And while we are at it for helping the channel, kindly consider subscribing to the Yuma to my YouTube channel. A lot of tech updates again will be happening in this particular channel very, very soon. So that'll be it guys for this particular video. Bye for now.